since our last beat, since our last upload, since our last whatever. But, you know what I'm saying, we just took some time away to really just kind of focus on the game, you know what I'm saying, to really kind of focus on the craft. And now I'm at a position now to where my, not only have my beats gotten better, but I'm able to teach it a little bit better and show you guys on a software that, you know, not too many people are familiar with. So, man, let's just go ahead and get started, you know what I'm saying? Today we're going to be making a little baby type beat, little dirt type beat, little... You know, all them littles and, you know what I'm saying, big dogs and all them type beats. So, let's just go ahead and get straight into it. Um, one, we're using NPC beats. Two, it's a free software. Three, we're going to be using stock plugins. Cool? Cool. All right. So, the very first thing you want to do, and it's super important, you want to come up here and change your grid. You want to change your grid to 8T. That gives it like that triplet flow. You know what I'm saying? Like that triplet sound. You'll see why in a minute. Um, second thing we'll do is go ahead and load up our sounds. Um, I like to start with a piano. Hit piano. We got our piano right there. All right, cool. Everything working. Great, great, great. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm going my track view, and I'm just going to pull this up. All right, so the very first thing you want to do is you just want to find a note that you like. So I like this note right here. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click and extend that out. saying like that's our root note I uh, almost forgot let's go ahead and change the BPM I'm gonna do one five three I just like that all right all right so I'm good with that for now from there now I'm just going to go ahead and start laying out the melody um what I like to do is I like to go up a couple octaves so that's my root note that's gonna be the very first note that we start with Probably go one more octave. All right, then. So from there, all you're really doing is just filling it in. Um, because we changed the grid to uh, the triplet, really, you could just go back and forth like that. And just kind of get like a little melody going. Just like that. All right. From there, I guess, like I said, we're going to keep it simple too. So from there, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and select that. I'm going to hold option. And what that does is it makes a duplicate. We'll go ahead and finish that up. So from there, I mean, if you wanted to, that could be a melody, but you can kind of play around with it some more. You can kind of play it. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take that bass note, we're going to duplicate it, we're going to hold option, and then you're going to drop it down an octave. So you can just hit shift and then just push down. So now we have two. Here, it kind of gives it that darker feel, that darker vibe. All right, so from there, you know what I'm saying, we still make it a little baby beat. So from there, all we're going to do is we're going to go to edit, sequence. And just double the length. So now instead of two bars, we have four bars. I'm gonna play that one more time. All right. So this is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna hit edit, and we're gonna do that one more time because we gotta have that little baby progression, right? So those were the first four bars. Now that second set of bars, what you wanna do now is you just wanna drop it down four half steps. So all you are gonna do is just take those. Uh, those root notes and you're gonna go down four so one two three four we're gonna play it again you see just like that um what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go ahead and highlight everything and just bring the velocity down that way we can kind of you know i'm saying really play around with the sounds a little bit and kind of you know get a little groove going it's just easy to hear everything and really kind of um, get the note sounds. So if you wanted to, I mean, you technically could 
could just go ahead and throw in some drums at that point. But you know what I'm saying? We're gonna sauce it up just a little bit more. Let's see if we can add in um, you know what I'm saying, just a few more little melodies or whatnot. So um let's see. So this is just how much space is in between. We actually could probably take this up an octave. play around with, with a counter melody. All right, finally got it. Let's go ahead and run that loop one more time. simple um, from here when i'm hitting now i'm just change my name melody and then what we can do now is we can go ahead and add a little reverb you know what i'm saying add some type of little plug in into it just kind of give it that feel um what i like to use is uh what is it? the valhalla supermassive it's free i don't really pay for plugins so feel free to cool with that or whatnot and then what we gonna do now is we're just gonna play it and then just kind of hear what sound right <laughs> So I like that. You see how I just, you know what I'm saying, it made it sound fuller. I like that. All right, so from there, um, I know a lot of people, y'all probably going to watch this and like, you know what I'm saying, try to copy and paste everything I just did, which is totally fine. So if you do that, um, what you can do is to kind of switch it up. You're going to hit Command A, and that selects everything. And you'll know if you got a pretty good, decent melody or whatnot, because... Um, and you'll know if everything in tune is once you select it, which once you can hit up and down and just kind of move everything, that's when you will know. So you just took it down. You just took it down a semitone. So really, you just finding those that you like, or you can take it down another semitone. See how you like that. I kind of like that. We can take it one step further. We can go back to home and then we can transpose and you can probably take it down a couple more. So you're just going to pitch it. See, now we got that dark feel. From here, I'm going to just go ahead and add my drums. Um, made a new track. Boom. Put it on there. And then we just go ahead and start adding in sounds. So I like to lay out my clap and my snare first just to kind of get that rhythm and that pattern going.
studio I like to do every two steps. And with this, I just like to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, fill it all the way out. And then I can go ahead and delete what I don't want to kind of get like a, you know what I'm saying, a nice little bounce. So. sound but I want to get to this 808 so um, to do the 808 with NPC beats you got a couple of different ways um, you could just go straight to your to your kits and then just hit one of them. honestly I probably would do this way you know we'll do another video on key groups later but right now I think I'm gonna just use this one I'm gonna change it to this key well back to the keyboard view and then what you want to do is all you want to do is go to your melody Take those root notes, copy those root notes, then command C, then come back to your 808 and then you just paste those root notes in there. Oh, my bad. He should have changed it to 808. Um, so. so I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's slightly out of tune, but it's out of tune because what we did was we transposed, we took those down. So the same thing that we did with the melody, we have to do with the bass as well. So you want to take that down a couple of notches. All right, and just to go ahead and finish up, what I like to do is I like to throw in the snare. Right, and then the snare it just really just be popping off, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and add that in there. Um, just a loud snare to something as you just cut through everything. Ooh, I kind of like ditch, so we'll use ditch. I'm gonna come back over here to this panel, and then from here, we can just go ahead and cook up this last little part. So, um, I'm gonna hit no repeat too, it's just kind of easier to. All right, you ready? So here we go. All right, so that was just kind of like some random stuff, but we can go in there and tighten it up. See what we like, see what we don't like. Again, 
again, for tutorial purposes, I just kind of want to keep it simple. You know what I'm saying? I just want to show you guys, like, just how easy it is to not only, you know what I'm saying, make beats, but to specifically make beats that's in tune right now or in sound right now and on a free software, on a free program. This is for people who don't want to spend the $150, $200 on FL Studio. You can download MPC Beats for free and really just really learn that software. Just watch my videos. You know what I'm saying? I get you right. So. Today's video is sponsored by Randy Packs. What is a Randy Pack? Randy Packs are the world's best LED book bags. They come with cool designs, cool LED lights with a remote so you're able to change the colors. It also includes a battery so that not only that you can recharge your book bag, but you can recharge your phone at the same time. Be sure to log on to randypacks.com to be able to order your Randy Pack today.